Welcome to Thomas and Melon Playtime. This is a real one? They're pretty, right? The light up sword. The mighty chair. shall begin this way. If I call your name from this list, the celibate shall step forward, placing both knees upon the cushion, keeping their back straight, gazing up at Her Majesty's benevolence and grace. And there, she will bestow the royal blade upon you, naming you a knight or princess of the realm. Once knighted, remain kneeling on the cushion. Simply turn to your right to her master of photo, Lord Morris, 
using a mystical magical box will etch your image for all eternity and for all to see. I said for all to see. That's the uniting ceremony. Now, there shall be a second uniting ceremony and if you wish to have a loved one become a noble knight or princess of the realm, See Lady Tammy or Lady Cynthia at the knighty's desk for all your celebration needs. Now, before she departs, a mighty cheer for the Queen, hip hip! Well, Duncan Devils, you now have a Majesty's leave to disperse, which means... Yes, you can go away. And enjoy her castle. <laughs> The king dismiss you. What do you think? Have you ever seen it before? Have you never seen the king before? Is queen pretty? Yeah? It's all right. Are you excited? Are you ready for the show? What do you think, Thomas? Huh? This is your first time, right? Do you like it so far? Yeah, we'll go to Disneyland after that. Okay. You're gonna see the mini? Okay. Where? Whoa, they got a shop over there. Yeah, we should get one for mommy. Which diamond do you want for mommy? Um, I, I think she likes pink. I, no, she likes I, pink diamond? Yeah. Lights up. Oh, look at those. Those are pretty cool. Which one do you like, Marilyn? Whoa, that's a cool dragon. Yeah. Look at that. Is that an evil angel? You want that horse? You want the black one, Thomas? The brown one. Marilyn wants this white one. Look at that. That is amazing. Those are beautiful horses. My ladies, it is now time for Her Majesty's second and final nighting ceremony. And once again, you here are all most fortunate for in your very presence is Her Majesty the Queen, Doña Maria Isabella the First, greeted now with a mighty cheer here, man. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty good, Lord Marshall. Yes, I do believe they have more in them, though, don't you think? I agree. There's twice as many people here. They could be twice as loud. As you command. Um, I believe I have just a thing of this. My lords, my ladies, let me let you in on a little secret. In Her Majesty's castle, cheering leads to eating. So, do you wish to eat today? Yeah. Do you wish to eat today? Yes! I don't believe half of you I said. Do you wish to eat today? Yes! 
and a mighty chair for the queen. Yeah. Well done, Pendemos. Her Majesty is most pleased, which means you get to eat. Yeah. Now, the nighting ceremony shall begin this way. If I call your name from this list, the celebrant shall step forward, placing both knees upon the cushion, keeping their back straight, gazing up at Her Majesty's benevolence and grace. And there, she will bestow the royal blade upon you, naming you a knight or princess of the realm. Once knighted, remain kneeling on the cushion. Simply turn your right to her master of photo, or Morris, using a mystical magical box. Well, etch your image for all eternity! And for all to see! I said for all to see! Take two paces back, please. Two paces. One, two. There we go. Calling for Papa Hamanese, celebrating his sixth birthday, to become a noble knight of the realm, is Lord Maverick. Final knighting ceremony! Now, there is still time, Vinemus, if you wish to have a loved one's name called inside the Grand Hall. See, Lady Tammy or Lady Cynthia at the knighting desk for all your celebration needs. Now, before she departs, a mighty cheer for the Queen, hip hip! Well, Duncan Devils, you are an excellent voice. Please stay that way. I shall return shortly to the table, and you shall be sat according to the color of the crown you're wearing upon your heads. Your seating is reserved, so feel free to wander about and enjoy Her Majesty's Castle! We're a yellow team. This is the color of your team. We're yellow. See? Some of them, they have a red color. See, these are green. We're yellow. What was that, baby? Yeah. They're white and blue. We're yellow and, yellow and red. Which one do you want, baby? You want the dragon? It's a pretty purple dragon. Look, the knight killed the dragon. Look at that. With his sword right, right there. Did you see that? That's a wizard, I think. Is that a wizard? So this is a VIP entrance, so we are supposed to enter from this door. That's a VIP entrance. Did you know that, baby? We're supposed to go in from that door. So, because we're a VIP. Here, watch. Yeah, because we have a VIP ticket, we're supposed to enter from that those doors. Yeah. So right now we're waiting for the door to be open, right? What do you think, baby? The door, I saw the door a little open. The time has finally arrived to call you all to table, and you shall be sat according to the color of the crown you're wearing upon your heads. Now I will be calling your color shortly and place you in front of one of four doors. But before I do so, why are you staying so far away? This medieval time is not medieval lines. Come closer. And for those of you sitting, come, rise, join us. You'll be sitting for two hours in the arena. Now that's a little too close in an awkward way, but well done. Now, before we enter the great arena, let me let you in on a little secret. Are you ready? Yeah! I said, are you ready? Yeah! Your knights of the realm are downstairs at this very moment, preparing for your feast and tournament. And if done correctly, they can hear your cheer. So, I will ask you this question. Have you come this day to cheer for your knights of the realm? Yeah! Wonderful. For those of you who cheered, you hold the true spirit of the castle. And for those of you who did not, I don't think you were quite understanding of what I was asking, so I'll ask it this way instead. How have you come this day to cheer for your knights of the realm? Yeah! Wonderful. Now, when you first entered Her Majesty's castle, you all received a card with a number upon it, yes? Yeah! Yes! Yeah! 
Nobles, that card guarantees your seat inside the Grand Hall. In fact, all of your seating has been prearranged and your plate will be waiting for you. But it comes to my attention that some of you arrive this day with a special privilege, and that privilege grants you one honor, one being you get to enter the arena first. So, at this time... All right, babe, come on. We're the VIP, come on. I'm wearing six layers of armor. This is better than Zuma. All right, we're a VIP, baby. Yeah, VIPs, if you're ready, show me by raising your badges. Yeah. Let me hear your cheer. Yeah. That was truly pathetic. Yeah. VIPs, I said, let me hear your cheer. Yeah. Whoa, the doors are opening. until I called your color. Only the VIPs wearing the red and yellow stripe cones. Let me hear you cheer. Make your way into the green shield only.
for hundreds of knights in service of the Queen, boldly petitioned Her Majesty to hold a great tournament in order to find one who will stand as protector of the realm and defender of the throne. A warrior who wears the crest of the Queen and in all things the bringer of the Queen's grace or the instrument of the Queen's justice. In one passage of arms after another, these six knights have arisen as the finest in the art of war! From the Western Marches come the champions of Castilla, Santiago and Navarre, the Red Knight! Titans of Leon, Heralada, and Valiente. Summon this mighty beast, bearing upon his banner and shield the pride of Navarre. Meet this fierce warrior face to face, or know the uncertainty of the blow as you run from his approaching terror. Let the earth tremble under the hooves of this noble house. Ride forth, yellow knight!
now know everything. But will the balance help a lot for these brave squires? And serve well my guests!
Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And I even got a flag in this and my hat.